you know, pretty much all of us nowadays have a smartphone, which is maybe an Android phone and a laptop, which is probably running Windows OS. And if you're maybe looking for a free software that could allow you to control your phone uh, and mirror its screen on your laptop and thereby allowing you to control it through the laptop itself. Well, yeah, there are a couple of options out there. I myself had been uh, on the lookout for it for uh, quite a long time. And I think I have finally settled on one thing that seems to work pretty great. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that uh, this is not a wireless solution. So it requires a USB connection between your phone and your uh, PC at all times. So it doesn't work over Wi-Fi or anything, but uh, it, there is no ab absolutely no delay. And it's uh, pretty high quality. Like your screen mirror is uh, really good quality and it even changes orientation with the smartphone itself. I'm talking about a software called Screen Copy, S-C-R-C-P-Y. It's a free open source software developed by someone. I'll leave a link in the description where you can download it from uh, GitHub. Uh, you basically download it and extract it, keep all the uh, folders in one place and leave a shortcut for it in your uh, home screen or your desktop somewhere. And the next thing you need is the uh, Android phone to have USB debugging enabled. So simply go into your developer options. Uh, I think you know already how to enable developer options, right? Just go into about phone software information and click on the build number several times until it says you are now a developer. And uh, go back to the developer options, enable USB debugging. It may give you a warning that uh, other devices may be able to kind of change the system settings here without your knowledge. And that is true. It's actually a uh, exploit that uh, some people can run if your phone is um, left on the table unlocked or something like that. So be wary of it, but uh, for our use case, it is required. So go ahead and enable that. And uh, now that you have the software, simply connect your phone to the uh, laptop and make sure you have the relevant USB drivers enabled. Uh, if you don't have the universal ADB driver, you can download the universal driver for Android phones. I'll leave that down there as well. Uh, first install the ADB drivers on your machine and then simply run the uh, screen copy program. As soon as you run this program, it will open up a window and um, uh, it's, a, it's a terminal command prompt window which has to run on the background. So keep that minimized and it will also open a second window which is nothing but your phone screen. And now you can uh, interact with your phone screen using your mouse and you can do whatever you want with it. That's basically how I mirror my uh, phone's uh, camera viewfinder on my laptop over there. So it allows me to kind of control my camera's viewfinder and also see what my camera is seeing without having to uh, look at the phone screen. So it allows me to do things like uh, control the focus or uh, start and stop video. It has been really useful for me so far and not having to reach the uh, phone itself and uh, just control it using a mouse that I have nearby. To me that outweighs the uh, the lack of convenience that this wired solution brings because your phone and laptop needs to have a wire between it right so you can't really stretch it to any any length as possible so you need to have a super long usb cable if you want to keep it away uh, at, at some point so yeah you are bound by a usb connection but it works really well and there is absolutely zero lag like i mentioned so even if you're not using this like a camera viewfinder like i do uh, even if you don't want to use your phone and just keep it to a side or maybe you want to use your phone like uh, on a bigger screen maybe you can do that actually you can fire up a program on your phone keep it in landscape mode the same will be mimicked on your desktop too and now you can use your desktop with the help of mouse and uh, if you are if you have connected a keyboard to your phone that will work here as well so your phone essentially acts as a uh, mainstream computer and your main computer acts as a secondary display for your phone and it's a really simple software. Like I said, it's open source. So there are no ads, no sign up process, no account that this nothing. Just click on it and it works. That's it. Now, previously before this, I used to use Airdroid. Uh, that's not a open source software. It is a licensed software, which has a paid version and a free version. Um, I have made a separate video about Airdroid, which is a wireless uh, solution for uh, remote capturing and kind of remote control of your phone. You can check out that video if you want. Uh, but that uh, that had a quite a lot of challenges like even with the relatively powerful phones like mine it used to cause the phones to overheat because uh, for some reason when I, uh, it requires a wi-fi connection basically to between the laptop and the phone to mirror your phone screen on the laptop but the quality wasn't that great and there was a lot of delay between uh, what the phone screen actually is showing and how, what is mimicked on the computer screen and the phone used to run pretty hot when that thing is running and i would eventually uh, get the high temperature warning much faster than what i otherwise would have gotten so I ended up moving away from Airdroid because of all the issues that it had and it never used to work 100% of the time like sometimes it would just fail to recognize my device even though my device had the Airdroid client online. So yeah wireless solutions or at least the free wireless solutions that I've tried haven't been super useful so I didn't think of upgrading to a paid version when I found something like this that works so great for free. The only caveat is that uh, you can't just mirror your phone screen on anything like you can't mirror it on an empty monitor like that. It, it's not a true external monitor experience like you need to have a completely working Windows machine next to you. But most of us have that anyway, right? We already have a laptop which may or may not be as powerful as our phones. At least in my case, my laptop is pretty old. I don't use it for any intensive applications anymore. I just use it as a bigger screen 
and this is a great uh, application to make use of that bigger display but if you're going to use it to uh, capture videos of yourself and use this as a secondary monitor like i do then one thing to keep in mind is if you have connected your microphone like i have uh, to the same device as you've connected a usb cable uh, make sure that you haven't connected the laptop to a charger or anything because sometimes these microphones are sensitive to electrostatic interference and uh, the chargers that our laptops use they sometimes interfere uh, with the uh, the microphone and cause a buzzing noise so i have had uh, like full length videos recorded and only to listen back and have that annoying buzzing sound and then i was forced to record the whole video all over again like the videos like the top 7 launchers that i made i recorded that twice because of this uh, usb cable issue it's not actually a usb cable problem it's the uh, the power line problem like the the power connection that you are building gets it's usually pretty noisy and uh, some microphones are pretty sensitive to that and since we have connected our camera which in this case is a phone to a uh, basically the same line through the laptop uh, it can cause problems uh, sometimes so be careful with that so i don't connect my laptop to the charger when i am recording myself like this but yeah if you're just using your phone as a just a second display on the side like if you're working on a laptop and uh, your phone is just there on the side and you want to be able to use the phone with the laptop itself without having to pick up the phone then you can do that okay so there are a few things you need to know when you're mimicking your screen like this firstly the uh, the scroll wheel on your mouse uh, yeah it doesn't exactly work all the time because the mouse pointer here is um, essentially it's kind of a replacement for your uh, finger so you have to kind of uh, use it how you would use it with the finger so kind of drag it with a click yeah it's not super efficient but there are a few shortcuts like the right click uh, acts as a back button so see that right click goes back of course the back button on among us doesn't do anything because it's stupid the orientation of the screen heavily relies on the orientation of the app itself so for example if i uh, open up this uh, google camera app so even though the phone is in uh, landscape mode uh, it technically sees it as a portrait mode so you kind of have to um, enable auto rotation and all these things so you have to do some work your own, on your own but uh, other apps like uh, for example open camera that opens uh, by default in landscape mode itself so yeah it really depends on the application that your phone is running on so yeah you have to do a little a few things on your own other than that i think uh, it, it's pretty nice now one thing to bear in mind is your phone has to be on like the screen needs to be on if you switch off the screen the uh, preview window on your laptop also switches off so you can't completely keep your uh, phone on sleep but you can reduce the brightness all the way to the end because now your phone's display doesn't matter right you're looking at your computer's monitor so your display can be at minimum brightness while you're continuing to work on your uh, whatever you're doing anyway that was just a free software that i thought i should share with you which i personally use on a daily basis it's free anyway so you can check it out and if you don't like it just uninstall it the best part is it doesn't need any separate software on your phone itself like it doesn't need a client software and a server software your phone just have to be uh, enabled with USB debugging and that's it. It'll work right off the bat. Try it out, let me know what you think and if you have any further questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll see you soon. Cheers.